we want to display all the categories if there are any in the table format inside the index view. For that we will have to actually retrieve all the category list from our database inside the index action method. So let me open up the layout page right here where we have two options of index and the privacy page. Rather than privacy, let me display the category right here and in order to go to the index page, how can we navigate to this particular view that was created? It is inside category controller and we have index action method. So here to navigate, we can define the controller name is category and the action method is index. We are not using areas here, so you can keep that blank or you can also remove them if you want. If you save this, let's run the project one more time and make sure we are able to navigate to our action method. So we have category, when we click there, perfect, we see the index categories, that is what we have inside the view. So we are able to navigate there successfully. Now we need to retrieve all of the categories from our database. So let me switch back to database and just for dummy purpose, let me edit the top 200 and let me add something here. So I have just created one dummy record inside the table right now. I have created one dummy record inside the table. Let's go back and we want to retrieve that inside the category controller. Now I have said before that we will be using Entity Framework Core and the main file that we have is the application DB context. Using that we can access our database object because inside that file we have the categories table. So how can we create an object of this application DB context and use that to call our database and table? That is the beauty of dependency injection. We do not have to create an object of this class. Everything will be done for us because we have configured that inside our container, we want to use this service. So because of dependency injection, we will not have to create its object we can think that the object is already there. We just have to tell application that please send me the object of application DB context. How do you request that? Inside the controller, you want the application DB context to work with database. So I will first create a private read only field, which will be application DB context. And I will call that underscore DB. We will add the using statement there and great. Now we need to tell our application that we need an implementation of this application DB context where the connection to database is already made and I can retrieve some records right away. So for that, you will have to use constructor CTOR tab tab. And here, whatever is registered inside the container, you can access that. Inside our container, we have registered application DB context. So inside the constructor, we can get an implementation of that just like this. So this DB will have all the implementation of connection strings and tables that are needed to retrieve the data. So we will populate our local DB object with this implementation. So we'll say underscore DB is equal to DB. And then we can use this underscore db to retrieve our categories. The syntax of that is very simple. We will create a var, let me call this obj category list. We will first access the underscore db and on there we will have all the db set. The db set that we want to work on right now is categories and we want to convert it to a list and retrieve that. So it will go to database, it will retrieve all of the categories, it will convert that to a list, and it will assign that inside the category list. You can see how beautiful this is. You do not have to write a select statement to retrieve all the categories from the table. There is no SQL coding required. You just have to write underscore db dot the db set name, and that will retrieve all the records. You convert that to a list, and you assign that to a variable. 
Now, how do we test that this is working? We will add a debugging point by going to this pan. You see the red dots. If you click here, we are setting a debugging point. Then if you run IIS Express here, your application will hit the debugging point when we load that page. So if we click on category, it will hit a debugging point. You can see that is yellow now. And if you hover on the category list, you can see there is one count. If you expand it more, you can see it is the same record that we created inside the database. So it goes to the database, it fetches the categories, and it does that automatically. We have a list that is already populated here. We just need to pass this list to our view, and we can run a for each loop on that list, and we can display all the categories. Let's do that in the next video. Let me remove the breakpoint. And let's do that in the next video.